Time to open all the rares and mythics. Are these good? Oh yeah, because we're also not talking about the character. Alright. So. Glass Casket Vigil. I think I kind of liked our white blue. Ariana, thank you for follow. And then what? Can we do white, blue, green? Is that something we could do? <laughs> True. Is Troy even good? Oh, uh, probably not. I feel like Goose Mother is worth flashing for. We also don't really have a lot of removal, right? Yeah. I feel like Goose Mother is worth playing. Our red isn't particular. Oh, we have a lot of good red removal, though, right? I guess two. Do we like this? Do we like this, everyone? Let's try. All colors, let's go. GG. Ooh, is Glass Casket worth using on here? Maybe? Yeah, it has to be, right? Because that's going to save so much damage. I feel. Maybe we shouldn't be wasting it on these, though. 
Oh, wow. Well. Alright, well, um, maybe I should have. Oh, this, I don't know if I've recognized or seen this food before. I think we go for it. Okay. What a disaster. Our opponent has iron buns. Do we have anybody with iron buns in chat? Well, where I'm from, Toran, they are the same thing. Look, and also our mana is perfect. Right? Right? Back for a second. Oh my god. What are the odds our opponent won't block this and we kill them? Oh, we can't kill them because they're not at 14. I wanted it to happen so badly. Three minutes left. Oh my god, pal. Sending all of the positive vibes your way. Oh, am I just dead on board? I might be. <laughs> and to be fair, I thought Splashy Spellcaster put the roll on itself. Another creature? Yeah, it, it's a weird thing. Uh 
Uh, so hello, Chuck Beardo. Oh, Matt, no. No, but please keep on calling me that. You just qualified for day two? Wow, deck picks, please. So I think we were too aggressive with our removal, maybe, uh, that game. It's okay. I, well, I don't know if it's good. I kind of just put everything together. So we'll see. I feel like I don't want to feed the cauldron this unless they put a roll on it, right? Beautiful. I know, I know. Look, we all I wish we draw drew our forest, right? Wouldn't that be beautiful? To make my deck <laughs> how silly I can make my deck uh, always is Sir Fairy, which is why I tell people to call me in the dark room. Interesting, Matt. I feel like you've actually never been in the dark room, so imagine lying to me. Thank you for the raid. You're beautiful. Am I still here? So what do we want to do here? What makes you think? Ah, uh, that is true. What do we get punished? What could our opponent do here that kills us for two mana? But they can also play the ward. Oh, let's do it. Oh no! We'll send you all the positive thoughts. Helen's whatever. Yeah. Is that what it is? Kellen's light blade? Imagine getting light blade by a twink. Uh hopefully tonight I won't have to.
Huh. We'll do that as a 3 4. Look at the restraint. What wrath? Well, they were stuck on four mana for a while, right? Okay. Of course, the green was the very next one, y'all. Hate it. Now they dead, I hope. Hong Kong. So we can glass a casket that. On Discord, up, oh, please. Oh, that. Oh, wow. Now, you, imagine only playing two colors, though. Wow. Do we go for the win? Chat. Always. I'm a chicken! Bok bok! Alright, yeah, so then we don't go for it anyway. Right? Yeah. I mean, them being at two is very, very important here, though, right? Yeah. You thought this was the goose dream?
Oops, there it is. A O A O A A O O. My name is Steve, and we are winning this entire game. My name is Steve. You don't know me because I am not very tame. Wild out in these sideboarded games. <laughs> oh my god. What? What about Jesus? I honestly don't even know what Extraordinary Journey does, if we're being honest with each other. We'll go for the 2-2. Two -two. X times when he casts it, that makes sense. Right? We definitely just Goose Mother here. Make our opponent have the removal. Because we're quick studying for a while. Gaia Skyfolk is one of my... One of the cards I played first in FNM. I love Gaia Skyfolk. I had that with, uh... Cloudskate, a 2-2 flyer with, uh... Fading 3. To the chapter on islands, thank you. Alright, everyone. Mm. I have a feeling we just want to put these big creatures on the battlefield. Right. Because we also have so much card advantage, too. So I think we want to put these on the battlefield. So if our opponent has removal, we still have a blocker. And then we can get all of this down, right? Extraordinary Journey. Is this Kellen leaving or entering Eldraine? Probably leaving, right? Oh, maybe that is. Maybe that is, Matt. I have no idea. Does it have any flavor text? No. The next three years? Yes. I hope we get all 20 different combinations of Kellen. Now, our opponent can activate that. They're going to get the 1-1, one, one, but I think now with 
splashy spellcaster and like all of this stuff we're in a really good spot and if the one one becomes a problem we can always extraordinary journey it away right lost caverns of ixalan what which comes out in what next week basically way too soon all right in another month Okay, Teferi. So this is like literally what the best thing for us, right? I mean, that was pretty beautiful. Play lately? No, uh, a hundred percent, Chuck. I actually feel it is. I haven't played the Mono Green deck in historic. Is it that bad? But the alchemy is just honestly ridiculous. I can't believe that uh, spreading seas is still banned. I, I, it's just like I know why, but like, oh. Ooh, I love that. That's, yeah. Our opponent has taken, all right. Our opponent has taken up so much of our time. Ugh, sad. No, that's what I don't think. I, the thing is, I think Bow, like having Spreading Seas and Bowmaster banned, it, or when having Bowmaster legal and like banning Spreading, it's just, it, there's just a lot of stuff. And Nykthos is. We need solitude. That's what we need. We need solitude and force of vigor. How about that? Can we do that? I think historic is different enough from modern right now. Do I do I agree with that? I think I agree with that statement. And I wouldn't mind more fetch lands and stuff. Looks like Well, we are getting another alchemy thing. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that. Uh, that's going to make us discard. Ugh, icky. Well, 
least we have perfect mana now. We're gonna do this. You don't have a counter spell. Oh, thank God. I would have been so mad. What do you have here? Uh... One, two, three... I mean, there's no counter spell, right? That our opponent has. They just have that. That can, what, enter? And make us discard, but like that's fine. Yo, I think I'm liking Extraordinary Journey. You're right, Chuck. You know me so well. Um. Imagine if I missed lethal. Wouldn't that have been embarrassing? <laughs> oh, God. Imagine missing lethal in this economy. White, alright. We have all of our colors. Hey, I can't spell. And by- we have all of our colors, we're gonna get a prophetic prism soon. This round up or round down? Round up. So if X equals one, we'll get a three, three, and one food. Beautiful. Also, I should have played the forest probably on second turn. Excuse me, that doesn't do anything. The sound of the red tailed hawk, yeah. Um, one of my favorite cards is Suntail Hawk. 
So, what is the flying lifelink one? That is, there's. I like the flying lifelink and the flying first strike. Healer's Hawk, yeah. And is the, what was the Kaldime one? Healer's Hawk was from like a Ravnica set. The Kaldime 1-2 Flyer was, it was 1-2 Flying First Strike, I think? Or was it just a Flyer with 1-2? I'm not sure. Battlefield Raptor, you're beautiful, Patty. Thank you. Daddy Hawk? Oh yeah, they all are though. They all are if you want them to be. So I want to draw... Uh, look, I told you! We now have all of our mana. I don't think we mind that being a 1-1, one, one, right? Because it's likely going to attack here. And we're not blocking. 1-2-3. Enter. Okay. Hmm. I huh. don't kill it. Oh, all right. Tapped in that. Okay. Five. Ouch. Those are some good cards. This has trample. Oh, that is an instant. Oh, okay. I don't even know what this card does. <laughs> it's a rabid bite, but that's also an impulse somehow. Oh, but our opponent can't champion it. Oh, but it doesn't matter, right? But we could... I guess that is fine, in a way. Because we get to... What's in your hand? And what do we want to put on top? That be a four four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I think we want to do this. Oh, we're still dead. That's what, right? We're still freaking dead because it becomes a... 
Yeah. Oh, I did my math wrong. Fudge, yeah. All right, I messed that up. I should have taken a little bit longer to do that. Yeah. Okay, that was very, very close. Yeah. Putting the making it a one one may have not been the best option then. Uh this it turn one sleep cursed fairy is fine though, right? I actually don't think we need to Evolving Wilds yet. We could just untap. Right? This seems like for the best, actually. Yeah. What? There's nothing, right? Oh. Woo! That's like... I was like, what? Why is it not a cast trigger? That's what I want to know. Don't have a counter spell. Okay. Whew. Really into Tempest Heart. I mean, it is a card. If I got it, I would. Be, I would be playing it, right? Do we want to put Goose Mother on top of our library? Or do we wait?
doesn't have reach, right? Honk honk. There we go. Steve doesn't mind, yeah. Look at our perfect man. Uh oh. I think, right, we want to do this because it stops them a little bit. Now, if they recast it, we draw a card, right? And it makes any other adventure stuff draw us cards. Okay. Uh oh. Yeah, go back from whence ye came. Hey, Magic, how are you? I'm fairly fantastic, I think. Alright. I don't think I did, sadly. Seems fine. Hey, as long as you're liking it, right? That's all that matters. So many things to go at. All, our entire hand is instant speed, everyone. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I spy Goose Mother in my deck. All 
Are we 2-0? Goose mommy, are you a goose? Let's just take flight. Oh no! Imagine having perfect mana again? I hope our opponent doesn't have removal here. Oh god, two for one, GG. I'm doing this because I want to draw or gain life. Because they can do the free exile anyway, like eventually. So let's draw some cards. Ouch. Thank you. X equals one. All right. Oh, that's only the plus one plus one counter card. I, I literally don't care. We have five cards. <laughs> GG. Hmm. Mushroom. As everyone who has taste should. Oh, I don't like that, because we have a lot of nonsense in our deck. Oh, but if you're sacking treasures, we're, like, fine with that, right?
Oh, three lands. Love that for me. Got him. Uh oh. So we could double it, right? Burn it to the ground. Oh my god, Scotty, thank you for the raid. Hey. How was your stream? Welcome everyone. How do you do? We are currently, I think, 3-0. Rosemary T, thank you for following. You're beautiful. In whatever this is. Momentum, you got this. We're trying. We're trying. But welcome, everyone. I'm there, Steve. We play lots of magic here. Limited, constructed, and lately we've been playing other variety games like Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy. So thank you all for being here. Scotty, I hope you've been well. Happy to be seeing you stream lately. And you're wonderful and great and beautiful. Yeah, we are playing a five-color deck, if you couldn't tell. York, thank you for the gifted sub to Manon. I think this is... Uh, ooh. We're in, no, exactly. I mean, if you... Because we have Prophetic Prism, right? It's not even... It's like we're a single color, right? It doesn't even... It's irrelevant. That's how I imagine, anyway. Thank you, Pretty. You're beautiful. Pretty hand, thank you. I try. I mean, the deck is perfect. We have all of our colors. And you can say that because we're not going to cast speed the cauldron this game. We, we're not going to need to to win. So all the colors we will cast, we we can. That 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 is uh <laughs> that is magic player math, by the way. Right, we don't care. I mean, I know there we care. Yeah, that's fine though. What the hell is this card? Hmm. I wish I had more mana. It looks like they may have. Oh, is this... E are, am I going to eat them out? Oh my god, y'all. Nom nom. Wait, what for one... What can our opponent... Yes, I am 3-0. What can our opponent do here? Oh, is there a first strike spell? Or something there. So we only have four mana. They could cry. Oh, they do. They have torch. Okay. Yeah, there were a lot. They could cry. Uh, but you know what? They might be crying anyway. <gasps> Whoa, sealed. I know. And they get to scry here. Uh, imagine if I had an, a black mana to feed the cauldron it. Uh, whoa, sealed, y'all. And I do what good magic players do when they play sealed is you put everything together. 
and then you submit your deck. All right. I think I, um, no, maybe two-headed hunter is better here. Am I, what? Am I, am I dead? Am I, am I dead? Oh my god, y'all scared me. Alright, y'all are beautiful, thank you. Um, we can do that, right? Ooh. Okay. Uh, and also, my my favorite part about sealed is how you can sideboard to really change your deck because you don't know what your opponent's doing. And I'm never going to do that, so I just press done. Because sealed is so important because sideboarding is very, very relevant there, right? Because a lot of cards become much more important or impactful. But that is the energy that I have to actually look at and read, and it's just, no. Sorry. I did. I did. No, exactly, tattering my own sales. It's all about equity. I press submit really quickly so I can then pay attention to the stream and chat. But also, again, Scotty, thank you so much for the raid. You're wonderful and beautiful and amazing and lovely. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm upset, though, that we didn't make the top 250. So now I actually have to do play in a qualifier. Which is exhausting. Thank you. 4.30 a.m. You're beautiful. And I, I don't even know what next month's qualifier is. Standard? Ugh. Do the play-in? Yeah. Uh, fine. We'll just draw Prophetic Prism. I mean, a hundred percent. Unfortunate that we couldn't glass casket it when it had all of its counters. Opponent. So we just want, really want this to not be returned or anything. So that was our opponent drawing a couple of cards. Skulk. Two. Okay. I think we're fine there, right? Right, and then we just... Attendant without the prism. Oh yeah, no. Prophetic Prism is literally one of my favorite cards of all time and one of my favorite limited cards of all time. Because it literally means you get to do whatever you want. Oh, fuck. Yeah, our opponent got the young hero roll. Okay. So, 
Yeah, now it's time to get rid of it because bye. Is it? I don't think. I think the frenzy. We don't need to frenzy the spire, right? Frenzy is probably better for something else. Two. All right, and then blast your creature in. Miss two damage? Yeah, yeah, player. Imagine. Yeah, so I'm trying to as well. You're beautiful. You're welcome. I mean, we just... Now we have to do that, right? When do... Do I hopeful vigil here? Where is my butt spot? Imagine having a butt spot. Yes, I, I still wanted it to be like a two turn clock. Um, did someone call me? Ah, uh, fudge. I think is the bowl, I guess. All right, yeah, I guess we'll do that. Oh, because if they get creatures, we can exile them. Well, I, I figure... Oh. Well, look at this. I was like, maybe the bolt is better than us getting all of these. Like, you know. But we get to exile all of them. But Sulk is there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that seems really, really good. That's why I put this on top, right? Uh, a really extraordinary journey. Okay. I was thinking about putting the curse roll on it, maybe, I, and losing the treasures. Okay. I think we're 3 0 right now, Gurbot. We'll see. 
Seven X? Seven one? Or better? Also, hope you're well. Happy Gobble Gobble Day. Oh yeah, I'm ecstatic. What what's that? Wait, it's gobble gobble day again? It always is. Wait, what? Do we think that's what's uh, allowed to be happening? You're beautiful, Gerbot. Like... Yeah, no, that's what we are doing. No, but we exile them with the journey, right? Freshwater, thank you for the follow. Like, the Corvold shouldn't apply to it at all, right? I mean, again, its owner may, and I owned it. Yeah, because they were on the battlefield, right? And then I exiled them. So. Mm hmm. Ah, fudge me. And we have so many good cards. Roy or Weaverson? Uh, I'm not a good thing in your life? Um, so what happened was our opponent cast our own things with Corvold and Noble Thief, and then we exiled them with Extraordinary Journey. Right? But even if our opponent, like, stole our own creatures and we exiled it, right? It still wouldn't matter, I think, right? Like, it, you can't still cast them. Yeah. No, so it's definitely something wrong there. I would, I would assume. We're gonna deck ourselves, too. Right? Okay. No, I didn't want to see all of those lands. Correct. And now we're going to die.
I think. What we want to do is have our opponent tap out for Goose Mother, mother then for us to bodyguard it, sack the guard, get our own Goose Mother, and maybe somehow win that way. No! And they have so much life to gain as well. Budge. We can deal six damage. Here. Wow. Because we lost. We can't kill them that turn. And then they deck us. Because of Journey. Yeah, exactly. So, let, let me just see. Well, we'll just have to try and win this one. Keep. I mean, this is a very good hand, though, right? So... As long as we don't keep on drawing lamps, please. Okay. We actually probably should have quick studied because if we drew a sleep curse fairy. Uh oh. I think, I think so too, but again, they shouldn't have been able to cast it anyway, right? Like, because I'm looking at the cards just making sure.
Okay. Ooh. Bureau, thank you for the follow. You're beautiful. Like, and so this means the Corvold and the Noble Thief, while it's going to be good, isn't particularly wonderful, right? Oh, our opponent did get an extraordinary journey. That would, like, basically tap them out. Oh, no, they could do both. Wow. Right. I mean, we still do it there. They draw, but like... Interesting. Like, if they have more removal, they do. But I think we just... It's worth them drawing. Freddy, is it true? Because you're the expert for me on all things German and all things whole, so... What I wonder what our opponent is thinking. Okay. Um... I think we just apply the pressure we can. I was thinking maybe the transmute... Because a surprise double strike might be worth it. But this is also good, right? Wow. Oh, it's hard, amigo. You did it? You made day two? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's kind of gross. I'm, I'm still perturbed. Perturbed? It is... We lost the game to what might be a pretty... To a bug. You think we should have exiled that?
Oh, I could have sacked it, yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's attack. What do I do with the Grasp of Fate? We have a lot of really good cards in our graveyard, and if they get any single creature, right? Not using the hopeful vigil. That's so, so unfortunate. Yeah, absolutely not. That was very, very bad. Easy game. You always have the prism, y'all. Our opponent and I have the same planes. Uh, they got our, uh, 6-6 six, six creature, uh, the whale. I, I'm pretty sure they did. They didn't cast the whale? Yeah, no, they didn't cast the whale. They didn't. They got the acolyte, though. Yeah, 100%. It made me, though, it made me cast the will, even though I probably should have, because our opponent may have been able to cast it, like, the, if they had mana untapped. 
though. Like, I, I probably would have cast it, but I definitely played differently because of that. I have no idea. GG. Hey. <laughs> got him. Well, Goose Mother happened later when I got the fox and stole it back. I know. We needed we needed a fast game. How many more hours do I have, y'all? Let's go for a green. Oh, three hours left? I think we should have plenty of time, right? Hmm. We do this. Fjoldred. No? Okay. That was a joke, everyone. Did you like that joke? <laughs> yeah, yeah, could you? I would. They, do you know what? That would have made my night. I think I would have liked it. That would have made my night leave Valor. Yeah, no, 100%, Freddy. Oh, and we draw? Oh my god. I mean, we're in a really, really good spot here, right? That's fine. Maybe we should have gained the life back, but I'm gonna... I want a quick study here. No, we're not gonna. Then we're gonna cast it during our turn. What value? 100%. Uh, I thought I was gonna use up all my mana, and I didn't need that life. I don't particularly like this hand, but, you know, with all the removal, I guess we can get to our later hands and do our card advantage, right? That may be an aggressive. Oh, yeah, no, 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 Matt. It is. It's something that happened last year, to be fair. But every now, I like to wait and sit on things. Uh, As I, like, figure out how I want to think. And I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to say this. So I was like, let me 
do it. That that's also why I did um I had my uh thirst tweet the other day. So like those aren't unrelated. Oh wow. Yeah, we're four twenty sixty nine. Oh, we don't have black mana. Oh, my God. Maybe I messed up. I <sighs> ouch. I know, we're at prism. Yeah. We should have kept the ball. That's fine. What is our what does our opponent have? Oh. I don't hate that. I, too, normally want my 2 twos dead. So we definitely want to do that. Uh, won't be able to use the bivouac again next turn all right all right Maybe, I, I, I think I want to do the Grasp of Fate here. We can feed the Cauldron the Bivouac later, potentially. Okay. An entire campground. 100%. I think uh, we need to do that, right? Get rid of that now. We're not taking the two damage. It sucks that we can't kill the bivouac with it, but I'll live.
Then we have the attendant. Removal would be unfortunate, but cut down. Oh, I have no idea. We have the attendant, and then we have our pr our horned lock. I I know nothing about the arena championship stuff though. Yeah, like the Loch Ness monster. Damn. Please don't do anything. Who there are lots of questions. Lots oh, there's the white mana for the bivouac. Our opponent draws that. Stoic, thank you for the follow, you're beautiful. Because I wanted it untapped. If I do it during my opponent's turn, it is not tapped. Uh What a gamer. H C, thank you for the follow. You're beautiful. How am I? I'm fairly decent, I think. How are you? Oh, it has menace, so I can't even... I can't block it? Oh, I did not know that. Good thing I... Good thing I wasn't planning on doing that, everyone.
Right, and we don't do anything here, I think. We could cast the attendant as the creature, but I think the creature just leaves us vulnerable to like two removal spells, right? Negate four damage, that's what I think, right? I guess if our opponent has removal spell, we're dead anyway. Well, now, if they had it, right? I think that might be game. They might not be able to have the green and white mana to activate, though. I mean, they're gonna get one chumper, right? Oh, are you... Hmm. Uh hate this game. Was that only game? That wasn't even the match. Jesus, Mary and Joseph had a child. Oh no, I thought that was the match. I hate magic. Uh, <laughs> Who knows? Oh, maybe Stab Knight? But then that messes up with my very, very carefully crafted mana situation. Beautiful. Look at this hand. Isn't it neat? Doesn't it make your collection complete? I... okay. Okay, okay. It's okay. It's okay. We'll draw an island soon, right? <laughs> I mean, at least that's a plains. Ooh. What does the fox say? Meow 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 Oh got him Oh my god No 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 I meant to play my white man No I didn't mean to attack No 
<laughs> I got myself. Oh, our opponent didn't block. Uh, imagine getting bluffed. Imagine. Imagine. Oh, wow. What a nerd. Okay, 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 okay. Be serious, everyone. I just, I just want, it really tilts your opponent when you play, you know when you're playing limited and your opponent does, does three different colors uh, on turn one, two, and three without any help? I'm trying to do that, you know. It's called the mind game, everyone. Maybe you've heard of it. Okay. Like, this is actually legitimately going to be perfect mana, right? So, do we want to grasp or fox something? I think I kind of want to get this now. Okay. Yeah. Like, they get to the Wicked Roll again, but it's we're going to be drawing over time, and I think that's worth it. Also, again, everyone, this is also why, again, nothing to our opponent, right? This is one of the reasons why I don't like competitive magic, right? I just always play so much quicker than my opponents, and it's like, you know... We draw. Um. Yeah, a hundred percent. Ooh, what's going on here, opponent? Yeah, too bad that's like basically impossible to, you know, enforce.
I may have. I don't know, uh... Yeah. I should've exiled that, then blocked the rat token. No! No! Wow! Well... There was nothing we could have done, I think, that turn. Shirley? Oh, no. Shirley, yeah. Except, uh, the mind games? I don't know if the mind games that mattered. That matters. Ugh. Prophetic, please. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, if our opponent has any removal, we're just so screwed. Oh, we discard one, two. Um. You know what? Do I even care? No, I think we just want to draw. <laughs> I think we just want to draw. What is that? Double, oh, so I should have done that then? Hmm. Um... <clears throat> I'm not going to be blocking, so... Unfortunate that we're out of blue? Battle garb? Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Uh... Oh, Feed the Cauldron is- Oh my god, y'all. I thought you- I was wondering why I wasn't getting food tokens. It during our turn? Got it, everyone. Literally, literally no idea. That's so funny to me. We're also, what, at, like, three? Fudge.
I mean, in general, I agree, yeah. Oh my god. GG opponent. Good job. Fudge. That sucked. Oh, that like needed to be that exact removal or just removal and never a land. Okay, you know what? That is all fine and dandy. Oh, wow, look. Ha ha ha.